Now, for one second, your car is not on the ground and you don't have the control. So no matter what you do with the wheel, no matter if you put your foot on the brake, your car is not on the ground to stop or anything. You're in the air, right? Now, if you behave as if you are still on the ground, you're going to get into an accident. Hey, hey, this is Iman Agai, the founder of Success Road Academy and creator of Ultimate Course Formula. And I want to actually use driving in a rally race as an analogy here for uh, building a company. Now, some of you may know that I used to be a rally driver and um, I was actually a really good driver. And one of the things that I always felt that is very in common between rally driving and or racing in a way and entrepreneurship is that when you are racing, when you are driving your car fast, there are many times that you actually find yourself uh, not on the ground. I know this may sound crazy, but when you are uh, driving in the forest, um, going 100 miles an hour, uh, well, obviously your car isn't always on the ground, right? So one of the things that you learn while you are learning to drive fast and, you know, do rally is that there are things that you expect to happen and there are things that happen. And if you keep behaving based on what you expected to happen, you actually get into a crash. So, for example, you see a bumper in front of you and you think that if I hit this bump, I am going to stay on the ground. But you hit the bump and you're not on the ground. Now, for one second, your car is not on the ground and you don't have the control. So no matter what you do with the wheel, no matter if you put your foot on the brake, your car is not on the ground to stop or anything. You're in the air, right? Now, if you behave as if you are still on the ground, you're going to get into an accident. You're going to get into a crash. However, if you understand that right now, life didn't go according to your plans and your expectations, but is going according to whatever happened, happened, and <laughs> you, you have to react to what happened instead of saying, oh, why this is not happening the way that I expected, then, um, then you're actually going to survive, right? So you want to actually stick to the reality of what's happening to you at any given point, even if it's far, far away from your expectations. Now, when you are rally driving, you literally have less than a second to make decisions and be comfortable with following what the world gives you and what's happening in your life, right? It's the same thing with entrepreneurship. It's the same thing with your life. Many times you launch a product and when you launch the product, you are like, hey, you know, I launched this product and um, I'm hoping to sell 10,000 of it in the next year. And you don't, you know. Well, you have two ways of behaving with this. One way is like, Hey, you know, like, why am I not selling this product? What's going on? You know, just kind of being all disappointed and thinking as like trying so hard to sell the product and all of those things. The other way is like, hey, I launched this product, didn't sell. What's my next move? Right. So it's your choice to actually at that point be in the victim mindset and um, try to just kind of make excuses for why. Um, the first time that you did something to the work or you're like, hey, that's where I am. So what's my next move and move on to the next move, right? So in entrepreneurship, always behave with where you are and, um, and as you are, you know, that was actually probably one of the biggest lessons I learned from my mentor years and years and years ago. And he said, act as you are. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, you know. One of the problems with entrepreneurs is that they don't act as they are. They act as they expect. What that means is that like 
instead of understanding what their current situation is and behaving based on the reality, they behave based on what they expect to be, right? So for example, you are a new entrepreneur and as a new entrepreneur, as who you are, you should act like a new entrepreneur. You should act like a person who uh, needs to get the next job, needs to get a beta client, needs to launch the next package, right? And lots of entrepreneurs, they're like, yeah, you know what? I am, uh, I'm just kind of like, I want to behave like a, a successful entrepreneur. And, you know, if I see something that I don't like, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to do it um, because like whatever, like any story that they have in their mind that they behave like that, whatever that is, right? And guess what happens? Um, they're going to stay small. They're not going to get results. They're not going to... Um, they're not gonna uh, get the value uh, and, the, and, and the responses they need in their business because they're not acting based on the situation that they are in. They're acting based on the expectation that they've made up in their own mind, which has absolutely nothing to the reality. So uh, just stay true to your own situation and the reality of your situation not the story that you've made in your mind and the expectations that you have in your mind because those expectations and those realities those those expectations and those um things that you have in your mind might not actually be the best thing that can serve you at this particular point of your life